All right, a sewing video is what you're looking at today. First of all, I went to try to start this and the needle was broken, so I've got to replace the needle. This is just an 11 16 needle. You can get it anywhere, any craft store, Walmart. Actually, these came from Dollar General. Okay, so here's a needle. There's a flat spot. Ooh, I can shoot my directions on here. There's a flat spot on one side. And then you have the eye on the needle over here, if you can see that. I'm sure you can. Okay, so I take the screw and I turn it toward me. It's the righty tighty, lefty loosey thing on this one. And you're going to push the needle up as far as you can into the holder. And then I'm going to just tighten that up. And that's how you change the needle. Okay, we're going to start with our thread first. Try to use some brighter thread. Okay, so it's coming off counterclockwise, and I'm going to stick it on the thread holder here. Number one is right here. This is the first spot that I go to. Number two is here. Three, four in between these two. Five, six, seven is back behind here, and then eight is when I thread the needle. Okay, so once again, try to get this a little bit closer maybe, so you can see it better. Not very easy to move a camera around. So once again, number one is here, and I'm just kind of laying this in these spots. Number two, Go between these two plates. I don't know if you can see the two plates or not. And right between those two plates, there's a little skinny one and then there's a thicker plate. Then I'm going to go down. And I'm just kind of lightly pulling on the thread. And now I'm going to go between these two plates. And then I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to go down here and then there, and then I thread the needles number eight. So if you count one through eight, you should get all your the spots on this. Okay, that's threading this type of sewing machine. If you have the green sewing machine, now I'm gonna move you over to a different type of sewing machine. Once you get the idea of threading a sewing machine, you should be able to thread any sewing machine. Like if your grandma has a different type of sewing machine, um, I know I have two sewing machines at home, and there are four or five different types of sewing machines in this classroom, and I can thread all of them. Okay, same thing. There's a post right here for your thread. So the thread's coming off of your, your thread, your uh, spool of thread. Okay, there's nothing here, but on this one, I don't know if you can see this or not, there's an arrow here. So this one, you just follow the arrows around. This is kind of a newer machine. They figured it was easier if you follow the arrows. So my arrow says to go from here to here. And then I'm going to go down because my arrow is showing me to go down up this loop here. And I know you see that. Okay, once again, there's nothing here. So I have to turn my dial until this comes up. And that's also attached to the needle on the bottom. If you saw that, the needle does move and I'm turning it toward me, so it's coming toward me. Okay, oops, <laughs> put it down. Okay, back around there, and then I'm gonna go down. There's a little hook here, another hook here, and then you thread the needle. Okay, so that's how you thread the sewing machine. Okay, also in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run your bobbin. Most of the machines running a bobbin, so my thread's coming off a different way on this. I'm going to go around this little spot here and make like a little X. This is where your bobbin's going to go. This is the bobbin. Okay, and this one's empty. Okay, I'm going to push it straight down and then I'm going to push it to the side. If I don't have this pushed over, it's not going to do a thing when I push the gas pedal. So I'm going to push it over to the side after I wind some of the thread around. So I'm going to come around the back side of the bobbin, and I'm going to wind my thread around three, four, five times. 
Okay, then I'm going to hold this little piece here. Hopefully you can see this. Get, move a little bit closer. Okay, then I'm going to pop this button over, turn my machine on. Okay, so the light's on. Then I'm going to hit the gas pedal, which I can't even reach right now. My legs are too short. Uh, hang on, i got to get the gas pedal. Okay, got the gas pedal, my little short legs. All right, so push the gas pedal, and as soon as the machine starts taking the thread, I let go of it. So I lightly hold the thread, push the gas pedal, and as soon as the machine starts taking it, I just let go of it. Okay, so I'm going to fill this up about halfway full. You guys want this about half full, so you're going to get close to the little holes on here, okay? So that's how you run your bobbin thread. Oops. Okay, I'm going to turn this machine off. Okay, this is how you cut it. Just take the middle here, cut that there, which I'm just showing you today, so I would want you guys to run a little bit more. I'm going to re-thread this machine. So I'm going to flip my thread over, re-thread my machine because I'm getting ready to sew. That arm up there. Go through there. I've got to turn the light on because I can't see to thread the needle. Hopefully, I can thread this. Hey, we got it the first time. Okay, so threading my needle. Just gonna stick that thread back there. All right, now I got to take the cover off. Closer. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to flip the little door down and I'm just pushing it down. Okay, taking the bobbin holder out. So I got to flip this little, little switch up here. Okay, now I'm going to put the bobbin in. And then there's like this little notch right here. My thread's got to go through there. And you'll hear a little click. Hear the little click? Probably. Okay, here's the arm. So I got my thread right here. And the arm is going to be up. Okay, see the thread that I have sticking out? Now I can close the door. Okay, and I'm going to let go of that thread right now. Let's see if I can get you closer with this camera. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, now what you need to do, your top thread that you had already fed on the machine, you're going to hold on to that. And you're going to wait for a loop to come up underneath here. So I'm going to turn my dial toward me, and I'm going to kind of tug on it just a little bit. I went around one time, if this works. Okay. See the loop that came up there? So sometimes I'll take my scissors like I just did. Usually it won't do that. But for some reason it's being stubborn today. Of course when I'm recording a video. Anyway, you shouldn't have to do that. Okay, so now I have the top thread that's being very stubborn. Okay, I have my top thread and I have my bobbin thread. You should always have two pieces of thread coming out of your machine. If you don't, then you're going to have a problem because it's not going to sew correctly. Okay, then I can go ahead and put my cover on and I'm ready to sew. Okay, I'm going to show you using the other machine as well because you're going to see, oops, I didn't move it too fast. I'm going to make you dizzy. <laughs> okay, so I have the machine threaded already, except I don't have... Oh. <laughs> I thought it didn't think it was plugged in for a second. Okay, I'm going to thread the needle, hopefully. Oh, no. that one's being stubborn, so that's a good thing. I can show you that, though. If it's being stubborn like that, just cut it. Cut the end of the thread again. 
that's not going to work either. Okay. Cut the end of the thread so it looks better. Some people lick the end of the thread. Some people think it's really gross, but if you that's the way you thread your machine, that's what's going to have to happen. Okay. <laughs> Why are you struggling? Okay. All right, got my machine threaded, my lever's up. Put that off to the side. Okay, same thing with this one. Bobbin holder's exactly the same. Pull the little switch here. Here's my bobbin, also. Okay. I had one in there. I didn't know what to do with it. I have it in the other machine. Just a moment. Okay. I'm back. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to put the thread, the bobbin in there. <laughs> Try to figure out which way the camera goes. Okay, so I'm going to click it. There's a little click. Okay, the arm goes up. Close the door. Now what do I have to do? I have to hold on to the top thread. Hopefully this one works better than the last machine. Okay, turning the dial toward me, waiting for the little loop to come up. I try to stop it when that loop comes up and I'm kind of pulling this toward me, the top thread. Okay, yep. see this is moving here. See it moving? And see my loop? Get closer. So as close as I can go with this camera. Okay, the loop is right here. So all I have to do is grab onto that loop. Sometimes, like I said, I use my scissors. Okay, so now I've got two pieces of thread here. And then before you start sewing, you're gonna tuck that thread back behind there. Okay, and that's it. That's the machine. Uh, here's the reverse button on this machine. You should not have to turn any of these. I have them set how I wanted them. Your on off switch, of course, is here. Um, here's the, this kind of guides your fabric. It holds your fabric. Remember when you're sewing, you're just kind of laying your hands on here, just kind of guiding the thread through there, or the fabric through there. And then that's it. When you get to the end of something, you're sewing, you're gonna pull it off to the side, and you're gonna pull the fabric out with the thread and then you'll cut it here on the side. Some sewing machines have like a little cutter on it, but these don't because they're pretty old. So there you go. There's your video on how to thread a machine, run the bobbin, put the bobbin in.